British Champion Series races and Stradivarius Kiprios heads forward. The Alcha Cab at Goodwood Cup, they are all here, they are all in stores and they're dispatched by the start. A little bit slow into stride, was well, away he goes. And Kiprios just rousted along in the early strides to take a handy position as they settle down. Nate the Great and Kiprios are the first two to show with Princess Zoe. Trushan again just a little bit keen behind the leaders alongside Stradivarius. Enemy is the one that's racing a little wide, although that outside will become the inside before too much longer. Coltrane is settled out towards the rear, dark sleeves with the noseband, and also noseband, away he goes, who gave them a few lengths at the start, is the back marker. So out in the lead, it's Nate the Great. Out from in second place, Thunderous, and the gallop appears an honest one, Kiprios. Ryan Moore was anxious to be close to the speed, white face, white sleeves on the outside of Princess Zoe. Stradivarius in those black colours with the yellow cap races in fifth with Trushan half a length away on the inside and Drazini and Wally Doyle sharing fifth place. Coltrane races in seventh under Rob Hornby and now they begin this swinging turn with enemy and away he goes the back pair. So next the great makes the uphill climb now as they head towards the final ten furlongs has the advantage from in second thunderous a neck away. Princess Zoe in third, it appears a pretty even gallop, which may have just paused us slightly due to the ascent. In fourth place, Kiprios on the outside, Stradivarius on the outer of Trushan, and there has been a mid-race pause. You can see the sectionals there, even allowing for the ascent in excess of 14 seconds for the first time since they started, with Coltrane in seventh, enemy, and away he goes. And now across the intersection, the leader is Nate the Great and Thunderous, and they just begin to press on slightly. Still Kiprios tracks them, Princess Zoe, Stradivarius still to make any move, likewise Trushan, they've raced side by side, Coltrane on their heels in seventh, and then enemy and away he goes, and there would be round about eight lengths from first to last as they climb uphill, and they're now heading towards the final six furlongs. Out in the lead it's Thunderous who shows the way, Nate the Great closer towards the inside, Kiprios lobbing along in third with Princess Zoe, Trushan and Stradivarius, and everyone sitting quietly as they climb this hill towards the six Six furlongs and then we'll swing down, having reached the summit in round about a furlong's time. Trushan just lost touch with Stradivarius by about a length or so. Maybe Holly just dropping onto his tail as Thunderous makes the turn. Kiprios has travelled strongly throughout the race. Then Nate the Great, Stradivarius, Princess Zoe. Right on their heels is Trushan. They're all lined up. The big guns. Coltrane gets on the back of Trushan. Holly Doll is just pushing along, trying to hold Andreazzi in as they reach the cutaway. Holly Doll squeezes. Stradivarius on Trushan as Kiprios takes it up. Kiprios from in second place, Thunderous on the inside. Trushan now Stradivarius is asked for an effort. Coltrane on the outside as the big artillery move to the front in the Ashika. Goodwood Cup. Kiprios taken on on the outside by Trushan. Then Coltrane, Stradivarius comes next from the way he goes. Head for head. It is Kiprios on the inside. On the outside is Trushan. Stradivarius. Sensational horse race. Oh, horse race. And what a game, man. Wow. Wow. Tactically, the finish. There's so much to go through here. We have a wonderful young stare here in Kiprios who, you know, has had to grind it out. He does see off Trusha and see off that lad, that old boy. What a legend he is. 
to make the bid that he did after meeting with the adversity he did mid-race or towards entering the closing stages. What a horse race. For me, Kiprios was getting a little bit idle close home and went on when he saw Stradivarius, but what a horse race, Jason. Yeah, I mean, he just seems to do enough, but as you said, the re I I I'm fascinated as to why Holly set True Shadow Light down the outside. You can see it's the key being a Stradivarius, but we've got the cutaway round. It's always going to open up anyway. I don't know if she just leaned forward on him and he jumped into the bridle and then it was very messy, wasn't it? But this lad is so straightforward. He does absolutely everything required that the rider wants. He's the new king of stairs. Gold Cup winner, now Goodwood Cup winner, led up by Renju there. And as you say, Kevin, he's a little bit lazy and just does enough. Oh, he's very easy rider. He was lobbing the whole way. You know, he was in optimal position the whole way. You know, Ryan's not afraid to commit him. He's a horse that's made the running before. And he really had to battle the way to see off Trushan, who I can't wait to watch that back. That was a, an aggressive, ruthless move by Holly to keep Stradivarius in and get her horse into the so race. So stop you there, Kevin, because you can see Matt's ready to speak to Ryan. Yeah, thanks very much. Well, in many ways, Kipros was a, an unsung hero at Ascot. And even here, there's going to be much talk about Stradivarius, but it's time to herald a new champion, isn't it? I think so. He's done nothing wrong this year, Matt. I think today's only his eighth race. And he's only doing what he has to do. And it was kind of a steady run race. It was in front a long way out. And he was just waiting. Um, I always feel on the he's got to do so. I mean, this is a horse who a year ago was almost down and out. He had a horrible incident at Royal Ascot. I mean, he's almost come from nowhere. And he's a proper, proper Group 1 horse now. No, there's no doubt he's a proper Group 1. Aiden always had a lot of belief in this horse. He started the year, he was saying what he thought he could do. So, well, we pray to him and everyone at home for getting him back. And, you know, he's always held in high regard. He's, you know, he's a, he's a full uh, Gross search for a song who won Irish measure. It's a good feeling. It's a lovely, lovely more than family and um, he's just a he's a pleasure ride. He's a lot of class, a lot of class. Probably good ground here on it. It's like the didn't really suit him really because we're not getting into a good rhythm, but um, he, he's, he's, a, he's a proper person, I'd probably say. And the way he races, even in the early first following, he was he was quite lazy. You were just having to nudge to get a position. It looks like he. I mean, there's probably never going to be another Yates, but he looks like a horse who can go on. Uh, look, yeah, I never got to, Yates was a machine. This horse won a gold cup at four, and he's. I think there's more to come. So we don't know where we don't know where he'll end up. Yet. And final question: Was that one of the best horse races you've ever ridden in? I don't know about that, but look, I mean, you're, you're running, we, we know how good True Shan is, and we know how good uh, Set Freddy there is being, and the 4-4 four -four looks and probably been horse as well, so I think it's a very good, very, very good good cup anyway. Well, um, in the colours of Moy Glare, also owned by the Magnus Table, Smiths, and the Vesterberg as well, George Van Opel, Pat Keating getting high fives from the crowd. Kiprios wins the Al Shakab Goodwood Cup at six to four. Stradivaria second at nine to two. Trushan was third at two to one. The big three came to the four and served up a thriller. Paul Smith on the right, MV Magna here as well. Aidan O'Brien on the left, who won this twice with Yates in 2006 and 2008, has won it again with Kiprios. We've already had big receptions for Trushan and Stradivarius here at Goodwood as Michael Tabor joins the party. Here comes the winner though, Kiprios. You know him shouting on the way back in, boys, when Matt was just finishing talking to him. 